What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Holding in the Road. Mr. Gray Fox, Big Bad Harold. All right, now. Y'all ever hear about uh, or, or hear when people say, uh, I'm willing to do whatever to get mine? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, y'all check this out. Five men are facing a litany of felony charges, and police are investigating after thieves went car shopping in Dearborn and Sterling Heights. Police there say they arrested nine people who tried unsuccessfully to steal 10 brand new Dodge Rams from the Stellantis plant Tuesday morning. Investigators suspect they're part of an auto theft ring. They're well knowledge of these different plants and how the security set up and where they're vulnerable. And then they end up making it inside. They end up getting the vehicles um, and, and they just take them and then they flee. And not just in Sterling Heights. Police say thieves hit a holding lot near Ford and Mercury in Dearborn later that night, stealing 2023 Ford F-150 Raptors. While police are not saying how many of the trucks were stolen, Dearborn TCD is reporting three pickups were taken Taken, and officers pursued a suspect to this gas station and then a neighborhood nearby. The stolen trucks retail anywhere between eighty to one hundred and ten thousand dollars. In many cases, though, uh, what they're doing is either breaking these vehicles down for parts, which in the long run could make them even more valuable, or they're shipping them overseas. There's a, a really ready market for stolen vehicles from the U.S. Whether they're stolen from a factory or stolen from a uh, driveway. Paul Eisenstein, publisher of the auto magazine, the Detroit Bureau.com, says automakers would do well to step up security on their lots. Police would not say how many suspects were involved in the Dearborn heist, but admitted they have seen an uptick in vehicle thefts in line with national trends and that they're investigating the taking of those trucks. I think this is going to be a problem for some time. Uh, Car theft has increased across the country. Uh, it, it can be difficult to make real money if you're a thief or if you're a gang uh, going after one vehicle at a time. If they can get into a factory lot and get 5, 10, 20 vehicles out real quickly, the amount of money that they may have just scored is phenomenal. It can reach into the millions of dollars if they get the right vehicles. We have a statement from one of the automakers. Stellantis takes the safety and security of our employees and property very seriously. The company is continually assessing security measures at all of its locations and implementing any changes necessary to ensure our people, property and assets are protected. A force says it's also cooperating with authorities for their investigation here in Dearborn. I'm Randy Wembley and this is The Edge. All right, Big Bad Harold, what you got for it, man? It's foolishness. <laughs> some, uh, just some young cats, man. Just young cats. Not willing to go get the old regular traditional job, man. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I take it away from that. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, troubled people, they ain't gonna they ain't gonna think to go get a trade. Cause you know, we always say we think more people need to go get trades. Trades is a lost art. Them jobs last forever. Them jobs give you ownership. You know, you, you, 10 people, you can do a lot with 10 people when it comes to business. You know, mm -hmm. if them boys had a different mindset than what they was doing. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the young cats, I must have heard it from somebody. Uh, man, we, we can take this to a chop shop, man. Make a little bread. Uh, you know, so-and-so a couple counties over say he'll buy one of these. But uh, wasted energy, man. Wasted energy, wasted potential, man. And what do you think about the news article uh, uh, itself? You know, giving the game. Why? Why do that? Why do that, Fox? Why yeah. would you tell them that my oh, money? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know that to me that mm -hmm. that seemed planted, man. And you know we we say stuff like that, uh, you know, every now and then. But that seemed planted. Why would you give to you? The amount of money, where to do it, damn near almost where exactly to take the cars, man. That's bull crap, man. You don't do that, man. Uh, youth is troubled enough, man. You you got to do something other than just doing foolishness, other than crime, to get your bread. Able-bodied men can go do a lot with themselves, man. Other than this, right, right. You know, man. And like like I say, uh, you get these people, and and we done heard it forever. Man, I'm willing to do whatever to get mine. Yeah, yeah. Except go get you a damn job. Go get you, get, go go fill out a one sheet application. You know what I mean? Just one sheet. Hey, you can do it on the phone, that's up. Yeah, yeah, you understand what I'm saying? And get you a job. Yeah. You know, 
you willing to risk your life for really petty money. Yeah. Because at the stage that you at, you ain't gonna be making the millions that you not that, yeah. that that guy was talking about. No. You know, you're gonna be the fool, you're gonna be the crash dummy that's gonna go out there and get and, and, and do the dirt work and he gonna make the millions, just like everything else. Yeah. Just like everything else. You're so willing to do something dumb. That's why you always get recruited. That's why people always come to the hood. They get to look, Yeah, yeah, to look for the youth. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. To do something dumb. They dangle that bait in front of them. Boy, you can make the quick money, boy. And, I, and I'm trying to tell you, man, it's really petty money when you look at it. It's yeah. really petty money when you look at it. Yeah. They give you two, three, five grand. But then you get if you get caught, especially here in Florida, because I just looked it up. Grand Theft Auto range from anywhere from five to 30 years if convicted. Yeah. Now, with the way they run these Ricos and all this other good stuff, where they just trying to throw people away, you probably going to wind up in the middle somewhere, at least. And, and if you're dealing with a uh, with a so-called ring or a gang, they're going to throw you ass. You're really in trouble. Yeah, you're really you know? in trouble. And, heck, well, another thing that people continue to feel, uh, uh, fail to realize is that Spike in uh concealed carry permits yeah we talked about that yeah now you go steal a car or you go steal a truck you get gunned down and here we come we <laughs> shall <laughs> overcome yeah. you get what i'm saying because you did something stupid no because you did something stupid no you know instead of 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 being about whatever to get yours and go and fill out that application. Yeah, man. You know, you want to be about whatever and go do something dumb. We know it's I small just, money I, out there. We know, we know. hey, you go work at Dollar Tree or something like that or cutting grass. It's going to be small, but it ain't going to get your ass locked up. You need to use your mind to get more money. You ever talking about entrepreneurship and being creative? You try to be creative in that damn studio, putting the damn matches in the closet and putting the foam around, trying to get the soundproof. Think mm -hmm. outside the box, man, oh, yeah. and make your oh, bread, yeah. bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something, man. You know, I call it compound foolishness. When you get uh, two, three, five people together, Yeah. And ain't now one of y'all got a constructive thought in y'all head, and all y'all thinking about this foolishness. That is, I mean, man, that's deadly. You ain't lying. I bro. mean, man, that is deadly, like you ain't never even seen or even heard of before. When yeah. you get some fools together that, that 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 don't even have a constructive thought in their head at all, the <laughs> only thing they want to think about is something dumb to do. Oh man, look hey, out! Man. You better get I out mean, <laughs> the whole damn world in trouble. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wherever these people that wherever that 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 foolishness just compounds at. This building it, up. It's, I'm trying to tell you, man, it's it's explosive, man. It's explosive. And uh like I say, I would love to see a time where people stop looking to our community to yeah. come to find some dummies. Yeah. yeah. Go to yeah. another community. We ain't with that no more. It, yeah. It's we we've gotten past the point where you can just dump something in our community and we take it around with it and, and we take it around, even yeah. if it kills our, our our loved ones our neighbors our friends our classmates yeah. man if it's got that almighty dollar tied to it and, and and i can live this lifestyle that they keep selling me man i'm with it all if morals can, go away even if i can live it for a day i'm with it. that's true that's small saying, part of that fantasy man if it if it costs me the rest of my life to live just a piece of this lifestyle I'm with it. Yeah. I hate it, man. That's why we need that structure we talk about. Accountability, code of conduct, all that. Absolutely. We need that. Absolutely, man. Something to stand on, man. You'll fall for anything. We talk about, we, man, if you listen to all these rap, they say that. But they don't believe it. You'll fall yeah. for anything yeah. if you don't stand on that, yeah. man. Yeah. And don't stand yeah. on foolishness. Stand on some real principles, man. We need as many voices as we possibly can speaking up. And I'm talking about, man, just, well, you know they need, nah, man, just tell them the truth. Just yeah. tell them the truth. Yeah. You, they just need to hear it. They need to hear the truth. And let me tell you something. If you want to crash shot after you done heard you crash shot, go crash shot. But don't expect us to come marching down the street. We yeah. shall yeah. We don't feel sorry for you. Because you knew better. You knew better. We told you. You knew better. Nah, you know? nah. And, and you know I ain't with that shit anyway. You know. Nah, yeah, uh, nah. So, but anyway. You got anything else for that foolishness? 
No, nah, man, just our youth, man. We gotta we gotta focus on them, man. They need our help, man. If you're gonna be about whatever, get you a job. Y'all live right, play fair. I love it.